Hundreds of MK party members gathered in Malamulele Community Hall singing struggle songs. Central to their chants was a rallying call to former President Jacob Zuma to lead them to what they say is the promised land. Zuma, who was expected to arrive in Limbop on Friday, was a no-show. He was instead represented by party president Javulani Kumalo. Kumalo says that parties needed to iron out certain thorny issues in the province. Part of Zuma planned campaign in the province included a visit to the graves of the late ANC NEC member Collins Chabani and former MK operative David Marada. However, both families rebuffed Zuma proposed visit. Some people believe that Zuma was chased away. That is not the case. Everything was going according to plan, but he allowed the chiefs here to intervene to iron out any misunderstanding. In two separate statements sent to the SABC News, the David Manala family and the Collins Chavani Foundation reiterated that they were distancing themselves from Zuma's proposed visit to the gravesides. Meanwhile, the party remains adamant that Jacob Zuma will be the face of its election campaign, this despite him already having served two terms as state president. MK is going to be on the ballot. President Zuma is going to be on the ballot. And the sooner they put it in their head, the better. No one can stop the will of the people. If the IEC wants to run credible and respectable elections. They must not stop President Zuma. MK supporters say the party is the only potted weapon in the fight against unemployment. Unemployment affects. I support them because they believe that all people must be employed regardless of their parliament. I mean even people in parliament are old. We want jobs for ourselves and our children. I believe MK Party is the only solution to the lack of jobs in the country. The party says solving the energy crisis is top on its agenda. Rutendo Boboli, SABC News, in Malamlele.